I, I want to do a French film. I would love wow. to do. I would love to do it. You know, and I don't speak French. But, but it doesn't matter right now. It doesn't. Now. Yeah. But not only that, you know, a script only has so many lines, right? So you could learn French yeah. for that. I would love to do something like that. Hello, Ryan. Hello. Good It's morning. Good morning. It's good to see you back on TV. Thank you. Are you a big TV watcher? You know, I don't have a lot of time uh, to watch TV, but I do. Like, I'm, I'm watching Westworld on HBO right now. I'm enjoying that. Um, I watch a lot of comedy stuff. I'm, you know, if I have time to watch TV, I, I, I want to watch something that makes me laugh because I tend to do, my work tends to be kind of intense. I like to watch lighter things, you know, and avoid the news, avoid, <laughs> avoid politics. They're you know. fake news anyway. So. <laughs> Um, a lot of your passes on damages, you had Secret and Lies and now Shooter. So what made you take the dive into the small screen? Well, I, th I think we're seeing that with a lot of actors. You know, the movie industry has gotten smaller in some ways. There's less films being made. It, TV offers you an opportunity to explore a, a character in a different way, in a deeper way. And also, I got to be a producer on this show. So I'm, I'm involved in, in the story. I'm involved in the casting. The, the stunt choreography, which I really enjoy. So there were a lot of things about this that I felt like would give me an extra opportunity to create um, outside of just being an actor. Um, I also really liked the people who were involved, Mark Wahlberg and Steven Levinson. And uh, we have great producers on this show. And, you know, it's, I'm playing a character. There's eight books written about Bob Lee Swagger. So our idea is to do one book each season as long as we, as long as we go. There's a lot of material there. And you always have to start with a good story and good script. And we know we have lots and lots of material to work from with this character and with this show. So. Being a producer, does it mean that you have kind of the final word on the writing or the evolution of your character? Or no, character? Not, not the final word, but you have input, you know, you get to help. And also a show works best when, when that, that lead actor or lead character is comfortable, when, it, when the show makes sense, when you can kind of tell when someone is happy playing a part, right? So it's really being a producer on this is more about having a voice and being because it's a collaboration no no one has final say except for the network or, or you know people the person financing it um, but uh, I like having input and, and involvement and so we've just seen the first episode mm -hmm. yesterday it smells bad for your wife and your daughter <laughs> yeah well I think that's you know one of the main differences in the book and the movie version of, of this story is that Bob Lee didn't have a wife and child. And I, and I love the fact that in the series, he does. I think it gives it a lot more emotional and dramatic weight. And, uh, and you know that they're in jeopardy as well. This conspiracy that he's been set up and, and framed for this assassination, whoever knows about it is in danger. So the wife and daughter very much are. And, um, and so Bob Lee, is, the, this first season, he's not only Set out, setting out to prove his innocence and to find the real shooter, he also has to protect his, his wife and child. This role is really physical. Mm. So do you enjoy this, uh, the action side? I do, I really do. That was one of the things that, that, that drew me to the project, really, because I'm not that young anymore. <laughs> and before I get too old, I, wanna, I wanted to do an action piece. And uh, I have a background in martial arts. I started, um, Taekwondo when I was eight years old and I've never really used it much in in the films that I've done and uh, And so this was an opportunity to and I said to the producers very early on that I wanted to do all my own stunts That I wanted the audience to see me doing everything that Bob Lee does uh, Because I thought that kind of intensity um, I think it makes an audience invest in a character more if you if you see that the actor is actually jumping off the building um, I've got some great fight scenes this season. I think it's going to surprise a lot of people because it gets pretty nasty. Has it ever happened that before a scene you were thinking, I'm not sure I'm able to do it, to pull this off, and then you try and succeed? Well, you know, I, I'm, I kind of have that mentality. I, I, like, I like to take risks. I like, to, I like a little bit of danger. I'm always pushing to do more than they want me to do for insurance reasons. You know, so a lot of times they're like, <laughs> You know, if you get hurt, that means we lose tons of money. So, but they're, they've, they've been very good about trusting me. But I do have to say that jumping off the building was scary. Like, you know, I did it probably 10 times altogether. 
And by the 10th time, I was ready to be done <laughs> with jumping off the building. You've played some iconic roles from the late 90s. Is it frustrating for you to be always reminded of these parts when, you know, after you played so many serious parts? Not at all. I love it. When I first started my career as an actor, I wanted to be in the kind of movies that lasted. Uh, a movie like Sex Intentions, it's called here, Cruel Intentions. You know, this movie is almost 20 years old. Like, the fact that people still love it and still care about it, I, I think that's incredible. That's, that's why I became an actor. And so it doesn't bother me at all. I, I, you know, the remaking, uh, I know what you did last summer. Yeah. So it makes you feel old, but I don't, uh, I enjoy the fact that people still enjoy those movies. I feel lucky to have made movies that last that long and people still care about. I believe one of the biggest fears of an actor is to be forgotten. Would you agree on that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would, yeah. So what kind of car career would you, you know, wish for a young actor now to have a big hit and then to be remembered for prosperity or to have steady smaller parts? Well, I think it's very difficult now be, if you're coming up in this business because things have changed so dramatically with social media and this idea of branding. And I think it's much more difficult than when, than when I first started. Um, and I think it's, you know, you also have people that are getting jobs because of their social media presence that aren't even really actors. I think young actors today have a lot more competition from, from a lot different, uh, from, from many different places than I had. What does remain the same is working hard and being professional and, and, and doing the absolute best you can and then hopefully that ends up resulting in a career of some kind. But it is, it's, it's a difficult time, I think, to be new in the business. I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm established. You're in the run for the eight seasons for of Shooter right now? <laughs> well, if they'll have us, maybe, you know, if my body holds up, if I don't, if I don't age too much, yeah. You, you don't look your age, so <laughs> I think you will be all right. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you.